right, everybody. Cheers. How's everybody doing today? It's good to see you. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Susan Swanson, and you're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. We are moving into a new state of interest today, and we are comparing. And we're going to break it down to the weekly cost to compare what it costs to live in a single family home that's $29.9 or the single wide mobile home that's $13,900 and there are going to be homes in this episode that will cost $3,000 and $7,000 and the lot rent is $5.60 per month. So grab your coffee, grab a tea, or you can grab a cocktail because it's 5 o'clock somewhere and come along with me as we venture through the market of homes to see how much house we can get below $55,000 in the beautiful state of South Carolina. How's everybody doing out there today? Hope you're having a great day and I hope your glass is full of gratitude on this beautiful day. So we are moving on to another state and we are looking at single family homes versus single wide mobile homes. And we are gonna begin right here with this cutie that I showed in the intro. This one is 29.9. This is a 1972 model. It's been on the market for 155 days. It's in Bennettsville, South Carolina, 29512 on a little more than a quarter of an acre lot, two bedroom, one bath with 1,020 square feet. This looks adorable. Looks like it's gonna be a fixer though. So you've got a covered front porch. Looks like the roof is in pretty good shape. You're on a corner lot with sidewalk. Walkability is very nice. Looks like there are hardwood floors. There may be hardwood under the carpet there. This is the kitchen. Definitely an older kitchen, but does not look horrific. Gas stove, three tier breakfast bar, easy access to the hot water heater. And there's the full bathroom, lid people. This must be a bedroom, a lot of paneling, but again, paint goes a long way. Okay, so here it looks like the roof is going to need some attention on the rear end of the home. It does have downspouts, driveway, a lot of parking. It doesn't look like there's a garage. So this one is on King Street in Bennettsville, South Carolina, and it is $29,972 72 model, two bedroom, one bath, covered front porch, located on a corner lot. Okay, got it. And... It was listed back in August of 2023 for 372, and now it's been reduced a couple of times down to the current price of 29.9. So that is just one that we see on the market, and that would be for the single family home. So we'll go over to a single mobile home. Now this one is 27.9. This house is a 93 model. It's been on the market for six days, and it's a two bedroom, two bath. So we're gaining a bath or gaining a bathroom and we're gaining 20 years newer. Still have a covered front porch. Looks very nice and clean. Looks like you could move right in this. Look at this. Very nice, I love those cabinets. Nice breakfast, or the island in the middle there. There's your full bathroom with a soaker tub, vinyl flooring, nice vaulted ceiling. That looks very nice. Looks like it's on a pretty good size lot. There's another bathroom there, double door on the closet. Yeah, that looks like it's in really good condition. This is Honeysuckle Road, Unit 3966 in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 29732. And the lot rent here is $575 per month. And that is in Grassy Meadows Mobile Home Community. And it's a spacious home with a nice front and backyard. So, okay, moving on from that one there. And there's the single we saw. Okay, so this is another single family home for $35,000 on a little more than a half an acre. Now, this is a three bedroom, one bath. This is a 1960 model in Camden, South Carolina, 29020. Been on the market for 34 days. A little bit smaller with 845 square feet. This looks interesting. Oh, this is definitely a fixer. Got a gas stove there in the living room. Got a wall AC unit there. More paneling. Can't see a whole lot with this one. It's definitely a fixer though, on a little bit more than a half an acre of land. This one is on Thomas Street in Camden, South Carolina. And again, it's been on the market for 34 days. Untap the potential, three bedroom, one bath home. Exciting investment for those with a keen eye for potential. So when you're looking at the history, it was listed, uh, let's see, in November of last year for 30,000. Then it was sold for 15, then it was relisted late December for 65, then it was reduced and reduced again to the $35,000 price. So a lot of potential there, I would imagine. So if we move on to the next one, this manufactured home is 27.7. 7. 
This one is an 87 model. It's been on the market for 14 days. This one is in Fountain in South Carolina, 29644. And it's a three bedroom, two bath with 1,900 square feet. It's a good size home. Look at that beautiful lot. Wow, this is pretty. So again, you have a vaulted ceiling, fireplace. There's your bathroom. Looks like it has vinyl flooring. Wow, good size home, 1,900 square feet. No covered front porch, and it doesn't look like there is a garage there. Beautiful lot, though. And this one is on Cumby Road, Unit 27, Fountain Inn, South Carolina. And again, it's only been on the market for 14 days. Um, the lot rent here is $450 per month. Three bedroom, two bath home, and it is on a great corner Great corner. It must be a great corner lot. So let's see about the history with this one. No history. So it looks like there might be some longevity with ownership there. So 27 7 for a 1,904 square foot home. That looks like a nice place. Okay, so here we're moving up in price for the single family home. This one is on just under half an acre. It's a two bedroom, one bath home. This is a 1938 model. Definitely have some paneling. There's your vintage kitchen. But that's a nice sink, though. There's your vinyl flooring. Definitely have some older windows. This is definitely an oldie, but a goodie, in my opinion. There's all your older paneling. Hard to say what's behind that. There's the bathroom. lid, And it's a really cute little place. I mean, it's definitely not very big. But it's sitting there all by itself. You put a fence up, you'd have a lot of privacy with this cutie. That's very nice. And it looks like it must have a basement. So this one again, Hutchinson Drive. And this one is in Hartsville, South Carolina, 29550. It's been on the market for 27 days. It's under 700 square feet of space. And cute bungalow in need of TLC, Investor's Dream, just minutes away from downtown Hartsville. Okay, so that one is 54.9. So you're just under $55,000. So we're going to move on to this home. This is a manufactured home, 22,499, 1,904 square feet, another big house. This one's in Chester, South Carolina, 29706. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Wow, look at this. So there is the big kitchen. That's either, that looks like it's a laminated flooring. Big kitchen. Electric stove. You've got a big, long countertop there. Some carpet. It does have a fireplace. These are the tack stripping and the, you know, on the walls. That could be removed if you didn't want it on there. These are some big rooms. This is a big house. There's a soaker tub, dual sinks. Wow, this is a big place. There's the second bathroom. Another bedroom with a window unit. And there's the side decking there. Needs some attention. But again, a lot of potential here in a larger home. And that was in a, that one's on Dottie Lane in Chester, South Carolina, 29706. And again, this one's a big home, 1,904 square feet for $22,499. But it doesn't tell us the year. I'm guessing it's probably a mid-90s model. And it's on Dottie Lane in Chester, South Carolina, 29706. Open floor plan, bring your offer. Let's see, the price history says it was listed for rent for $9.50 per month. And that was last September. And then it was listed in January of this year. And now it's been reduced to the current price of $22,499. Okay, so not a bad home right there. Okay, so moving on to a single family. This little cutie is $49,000. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath. It's been on the market for 44 days. Now this is an older home. This is a 1950 model, and it's a two-bedroom, one-bath in Florence, South Carolina. Looks super cute. Little bungalow style. Nice yard. So we do have some carpet there. Cool woodwork. Hard to say if there's woodwork or hardwood floor under the carpet. There's your little screened porch, and there's the tub and part of the sink. Can't quite tell if that's brown carpet, or that looks like maybe a laminated or vinyl flooring in the kitchen. Doesn't look like there's any appliances. Super cute. I love the little dormer there. 
So this one is on Ballard Street. And again, it's 49,920 square feet on a smaller lot, 7,405 square foot lot. And calling all investors, great investment opportunity, quick fix and flip, two bedroom, one bath home, and uh, just minutes from downtown Florence. And when we look at the history, it was listed in December of last year for 65,000, and then it's been reduced to where it is now at 49,000. Looks adorable. That has a ton of potential. And again, you know, home inspections speak volumes. When you get in there, you can really take a closer look to see um, how much work would be involved in rejuvenating these old places. Okay, so let's take this one out and we'll move on to the next single wide. So this one is on the market for 229. This is a 93 model. It's been on the market for 55 days. This one is in Lawrence, South Carolina. Three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Big lot. Look at this. That looks very pretty. Laminated flooring. There's your bathroom. Another bathroom there. This one doesn't look too terrible. And Terry's Park Road, Unit 113. And again, this one is 22.9 and doesn't say the square footage. Uh, move in ready home, vinyl throughout for easy cleanup. The lot rent here is $385 per month. So that is one of the lower lot rents we've seen and no history on it really. So maybe some longevity with the ownership. And again, 229, 385 a month for the lot rent. Three bedroom, two bath home, and it's a 93 model. Looks really nice. So there is a move in ready home for you guys. All right, so let's take this one out and we're gonna go over to this one. And now we're moving up in price a little bit to this one. Uh, this one is 54.5. It's on a little more than a quarter of an acre, 1,052 square feet, three bedroom, one bath, and this is in uh, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29550. It's been on the market 111 days, and this is a 62 model. Lots of trees. Beautiful, beautiful yard there. Got some shrubbery. Looks like it has laminated flooring. I don't think that's hardwood. Nice windows. Cute kitchen with a island area counter in the middle there no appliances looks like there might be some issues with a roof looks like that's vinyl flooring a lot of potential with this one too okay so there is some more roof issues ceiling issues there again you know you can see more when you're in these in person there's some hardwood floor there's the bathroom looks like it's another bedroom with a deep closet it is a very cute little ranch Again, low price, high potential. That's Nandina Street, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29550. And spacious house in the heart of Hartsville, offering a generous site ideal for creating your dream home. Versatile and spacious. 1,052 square feet. Looks uh, a little smaller than that, but looks can be deceiving, obviously. And you have a carport and an attached storage. And uh, practical and convenient choice for modern living. So this one shows a little bit of history here. It was listed in 2012 for 62.5. It had a price change to 59.9 in 2013. Then it was sold in 2018 for 53,000. And then it was listed in September, October, I'm sorry, October of last year. And now it's been reduced to the current price of 54.5. And a little bit more than a quarter of an acre. Hartsville, South Carolina, not bad. Okay, so we'll take this one out. Now we're going to look at this little cutie here. This one is $13,999. And I'm going to show you what the Zillow ad looks like because it doesn't show us many photographs on Realtor for some reason. So this is the very nice kitchen. Let me move myself out of the way here a little bit more. And uh, looks like it has a lot of potential. This is the one in the intro. So again, this is a single wide mobile home for $13,999. Laminated flooring, could be vinyl. There's the bathrooms. Looks like it has some updates. You got your little side entry there. So this is a inexpensive home, 13,999. It's been on the market for 83 days. It's a 1989 model and open concept. And uh, this one 
is in, I'm trying to see, this one was in the community of Coco Palms Mobile Home Park, I do believe. Let me just make sure. Let me look at that. Uh, San, yes. No, I'm sorry. This one is in Solid Rock Mobile Home Park in Leesville, South Carolina. And their lot rent there is between $425 and $575 per month. And again, that is a you know 1989 model and looks like it needs a little attention, but nothing too terrible. All right, so let's see if we have any more single family homes to review here. Uh, let's take this one right out of there. And this is another one. This one's been on the market a little while. And this would be the last of the single family homes that I found. Um, and again, all of these are fixers. Obviously, you couldn't move right in here. So it just gives us a really good, you know, comparison. So this one's 55000 and it's on a half an acre, two bedroom, one bath. And this is a 1954 model. Looks like it's really adorable. Looks like the roof is in pretty good shape. Looks like the lot is fenced. Definitely a fixer from what I see. It doesn't show us a whole lot. Nice little back porch there. And you gotta wonder how rough the inside is since it's really not showing it, but uh, leaves us some, you know, leaves a lot to the imagination, I guess. And this one is on Fifth Street. And again, this one is 55,000 and that is a 1954 model. It's been on the market a long time, 212 days. And it's about 841 square feet, completely fenced with shed in the back, being sold as is and uh, was listed in last February, or I'm sorry, yeah, last February for 65000 Then it was cha price changed, then it was removed, and now it's back to the $55,000 mark. So if you look at in Pinewood, South Carolina, 29125, here is a cute little ranch on the market. All right, so moving on from this one. And so let's go over to this cutie. This one's $7,000. And this is a single wide 1990 model. And let me, yeah. Uh, 1990 model, been on the market for just under 30 days. This one's in Sumter, South Carolina, 29154. Looks like it does have some vaulted ceilings, vinyl siding. Doesn't look too terrible. This one has a ton of potential. There's your nice kitchen. There's the bathroom. Looks like it might have laminated flooring. So this one doesn't look too terrible at all. $7,000. This is on Blanche Road, lot 22. And let's see here, 15 minute drive from the Walmart. And this one is in um, Kokomo Palms, and I this might have just been recently purchased. Recently purchased, I'll have to check into that. Um, so Coco, Kokomo Palms, and yes, I opened up a tab here. Their site rent is three ninety five plus your water, sewer, and trash. So you're looking around four sixty per month to live in this particular park here with a home that's seven thousand dollars. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal. And again, you got to get in there in person or have a home inspection to just see exactly what you're getting into, but $7,000 nonetheless. And here is another one. This is in the same community. This one's $3,000, same year. This has been on the market for 63 days, two bedroom, one bath. The other one obviously has a vinyl siding. The other one looks like it's been a little bit better maintained. I'm guessing if this community was purchased recently, these are resales that they probably have taken from their previous owners, and now they're putting some low prices on them to part ways with them. Uh, which is fine, rejuvenate them. Find some people that want to live in these communities and spruce these mobile homes up because there's a lot of longevity left in these things. Now here's the mini split. There's your open kitchen and living area there. More vaulted ceilings. Take out that blue carpet. It would make a huge impact. Nice little kitchen there. You got a breakfast bar, island counter area. There's the bathroom. Red people. More blue carpet. And this again is smaller than the other one, but the same year. And again, a lot of potential. And this is on the Blanche Road, lot 46. And this again is Sumter, South Carolina, 29154, $3,000 home. And your lot rent is between the, uh, it's 395. So you're looking around 560 for your lot rent. So again, you know, just like the homes that we saw yesterday in Florida that were two and $3,000, 
or you could buy three for five thousand dollars if you haven't seen that episode definitely go back and check it out you can buy three single wide homes for five thousand dollars plus tax blows the mind a little bit so here's another one for three thousand dollars and on the lower price point or the lower uh, lot rent price and a 1990 model so when we look at these compared to the single family homes that we've seen in this episode it's obvious you could move into these mobile homes uh, more than likely you could spruce them right up you could live in them south carolina is a little chilly right now but if you could wait you know and move in in the next couple of months you could possibly live there and fix them up and have a really nice affordable place so definitely an affordable option for a 1990 single wide mobile home for three thousand dollars with two bedrooms and one bath and more than likely this community owner is looking for people to buy these homes and move in there and you know rejuvenate them with good reason because they still have a lot of life left in my opinion so let's look at some fun facts on south carolina real quick so south carolina the capital is columbia and uh, there's 5.1 million people median age is 40 years young minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents uh, South Carolina has 7% sales tax and the real property tax is 0.55%. It's the lowest of the states. And the cost of living is also 6% lower than the national average. However, utilities in South Carolina will be 8% higher than the national average. When it comes to manufactured and mobile home living, there are more than 375,000 manufactured and mobile homes in South Carolina per data collected in 2019. And in September, 23rd, September of 23, Freakonomics article stated there were 43,000 mobile home parks in the USA. So that would be home to more than 22 million people. And whether these mobile homes are in land lease communities or real estate owned parks or on private land, they make up 6% of our nation's housing stock. And so for those of you who are looking to retire in South Carolina, retirees and seniors are not taxed on the retirement income. And there's also a 15,000 deduction for retirees receiving other types of retirement income. So a little FYI there. So let's break it down and let's see how much it actually costs per week to live either in a single wide in a community or in one of the single family homes. So this is the single wide that you can move right into. It's $13,999. And this is a little single family home that we saw that is um, $29,99. So let's take this one, for instance. And so if you were to buy this home and you paid full price for it, let me move myself out of the way here. Sorry about that a minute. And we are going to give... Um, bringing it in with a tax coming in at $31,993 for the purchase price. So if we add in the average utilities for this house, we're coming in at $350 a month times 12 months gives us $4,200. I'm coming in kind of high on the food bill, coming in at $9,600 for the year. We're going to add $2,400 for insurance and property taxes. So when we're just adding up the basics, we're coming in at $48,193 for this little single fixer. So you divide that by 52 weeks, you're coming in at just under $930 per week for this house. Now, mind you, you couldn't move right in it. It's definitely going to need some sprucing up. So we don't know what that would cost. However, when you look at this home here, we could move right into this one. And this one is going to come in at $6,900 a year with a lot rent at $575 per month. And with your average utilities, we're looking at $300 per month because the home is a 2-2. It's a newer home. It probably wouldn't take as much to heat or cool it. And we're coming in at the same groceries. And so you add up the basics with the cost of the home at the full price, $13,999. Uh, we're coming in at $35,078. Now, if we divide that by 52 weeks, we're looking at just under $675 a week to live there. Now, mind you, yes, if you buy a single family home on private land, you're obviously going to gain equity the longer you live there and you spruce it up and you make it really nice, right? You're going to gain equity because it's real estate. However, we're just looking at just the basic facts here on what what we are getting for our money. If if a home that's 3000 that's 7000 that's 10000 is more affordable to you and you're looking for the lower lot rent, then you can buy one of these homes under $14,000 and live for under $675. Per week and that was the basis of the episode or you can buy a single family fixer put some money into it and you're going to gain equity however you know you, you just never know what you're going to get with the repairs and the same can be said by the three thousand in the seven dollar mobile seven thousand dollar mobile home but 
they're out there. And if you're looking for affordable housing in South Carolina, maybe one of these would be of interest to you. So until we meet again, keep those cups full of happiness, everybody. You're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. And it's good to see you. And until uh, next time, stay safe, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Cheers, everybody.